Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Davis here from Double D's Garage. So in our last video, uh, while we were working underneath the car, um, repairing the catalytic converter and putting on the cat shield, we noticed there's a uh, bit of a coolant leak. Uh, we traced it down to where uh, the coolant uh, valve is, uh, is having some issues. Uh, so we're gonna go through that today and see if we can replace it. Uh, also, generally, there's a specific code that comes out of uh, the Prius 2007, uh, at least on the second generation, 2004 through the 2009. Um, you'll get some coolant valve uh, that is stuck. Um, there's a code. I have the uh, ODB2 sensor already uh, scanning out the code, ready to go, so at least we can look at it. This is the generally the... Uh, code number that you'll see hopefully you can see it here it's uh, p1121 this is generally the control valve the coolant control valve that gets stuck um, I'll show you what it looks like or at least the part where we're gonna be replacing it um, in a bit here so we got the hood that open already uh, quickly shine through the light some light here and I will show you where this is at so essentially this is the valve that we're going to be removing and replacing there's a nut and bolt right here so that we'll be you know unloosing and then we'll remove this we'll clamp this through so we don't have to drain the entire coolant uh, liquid from the system so there's a couple of tools we'll go over in a few minutes on uh what to use and how to use them Okay, so the tools that you'll be needing today um, are fairly simple. I decided to use a couple of vice clamp. Um, these will allow me to tighten the uh, pressure in terms of how much I want angle-wise because I'll be using this to clamp the hose. Um, I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to drain the fluid and then put it back in. I'd rather just clamp it, keep the liquid in place, the coolant liquid in place, and then be able to work on the unit. Um, You'll need three of these clamps. There's two hose on the top left, and then there's a hose at the bottom. So we'll be using all three of these to help uh, clamp the hose. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket, um, which will be used to remove the bolt and nut um, in the back of the, uh, the the pump here, or at least the control valve here. Uh, this is a brand new control valve that I ordered off of uh, Amazon. It's about $60. I'll link the um, information below on the description so that you can make your purchase as well if you need to. You can probably source this through um, China um, through AliExpress. I've seen a few of these. Um, I also saw a few of these on uh, Home Depot surprisingly. They do sell these um, by far one of the cheapest price um, but I just decided just to get things done and over with um, just to buy a new one from Amazon and just get it delivered quickly and get my car up and running. So anyhow, uh, before you begin, you wanna quickly inspect the device. I like to go through and make sure these, uh, you know, screws are tightened up so that it doesn't create the leak. Because as you can see, um, on my current one today, uh, there's a specific leak that comes out of here. This is because probably when the gasket or the seal is not properly tightened together. So I just wanna play it safe and then tighten the uh, the screws in a little bit more just to just to be safe so these are the screws that's holding the covers together um, there's a total of one two three four five screws um, it is a Phillips so you can use any Phillips just quickly tighten it just enough you don't want to too much create too much pressure as it could damage the plastic here all right so this is it I'm gonna quickly tighten the screws up a little bit and then we'll proceed with the uh, uh, replacement of the valve
Okay, so took me a little bit longer than I initially planned, but uh, we got the new coolant control valve installed. Um, the hose are all backed in. Um, we have one more clamp, which is the top one right here that we need to put together, and that should be it. Okay, so the coolant control valve is back on. Um, everything is good, ready to go. Um, we made sure we top off the coolant, and now it's pretty much time to clean up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Uh, please feel free to leave comments, reviews. Um, and again, yeah, thanks for watching.